What a beautiful day for a drive with you two. Thank you for taking me on the tour. What's the it's first call? It's a brown pit chamber on a van and house, been in three weeks. Neighbors have been feeding, dog is entangled, no shelter. And nobody's been in there. He chained? You made society! Footprints in the snow? Yeah, you're right. Somebody's been in here. There you go. You're okay. This is a call we got as an abandonment. It looks like now that we have some snow on the ground, whoever's coming to care for the dog is coming through the rear of the property, so we're going to post on the back gate here. Well, we need to determine if somebody's actually coming and caring for this dog or not. The dog has good weight. The dog has a dog house. It has a lot of dishes out here. Um, so we need to, to make sure that it's truly abandoned before we can remove it. Yeah, I mean, we, ha we, we can't just go take a dog and, and steal it. We have to show that it's not being cared for. And this is part of that process. We just set up a straw drop at that last location to have our rescue drivers go out. Um, we don't have room in this vehicle for a lot of straw, but they can carry it in the rescue van. So they're going to be going back out to the location and making sure the dog has a doghouse full of straw. A lot of what we get is chained. Yeah. Or locked in rooms. House abandoned for two weeks, getting thin, complainant is a third party. All right. So two in the home. Yeah. What are you guys doing? <laughs> make you happy? So this guy, he's probably, he's, he's not in real bad shape, but he's obviously a little bit on the thin side. I didn't have any food or water to speak of here. Um, what, what do you think is the, the, the course of action we're going to take here? Well, from what we've heard, uh, there was a house fire here, and there is no electricity. I don't know if people are coming back to care for the dog while they're, you know, dealing with their house fire. So what we're going to do is post and tape to see if anybody's coming or going. We fed and watered the dog. Um, we're gonna get some straw out here, and if nobody contacts us, we're gonna we're gonna take the dog in. We're not gonna leave him out here if somebody's not coming to care for him. The Cruelty Investigations Division and our rescue team are an incredibly important part of our mission. We saw a lot of animals that we're gonna follow up on that, that had obviously somebody was caring for at some level. Um, so our, our job is to make sure that number one, um, someone is taking care of them, and number two, if, if someone isn't or they don't follow up with us, um, that we remove that animal from that situation to make sure that it has an opportunity. Um, that's our job. The best place for your animal is at home, is, is in, inside next to you. And, and if, if that can't happen, then you've got to provide a, a positive environment for your animal. We have a lot of resources that we can help you with. Um, you know, the truth is if you have an animal, you have a responsibility. Um, and we're here as a resource for this community to make the lives of the animals that, that we share lives with better.